Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a Wild Hunt Wednesday. We're going to be covering another deck here. Uh, it's a, using a Rackus Swarm leader ability. We're calling this Organic Swarm. It's not really all that novel, but there are some really cool synergies here. Notably, Ruhin has been reworked to have the Insectoid category, which is going to work with Kikamar Queen. But more importantly for me, and Drago Warrior, it's going to consume him and generate an extra drone. We've got eggs in here, larva, slizzards for the uh for the for the ruhin uh barbagazis for ruhin uh and for the andrega eggs and then Rendrega queen and ikern being one of my favorite plays in the game at this time whispering hillock now finding both either ruhin or uh goliath is pretty nice you can also get out andrega eggs if that's just the one thing you're missing so lots of good stuff here we are using wispess tribute in order to get uh, those organic cards tutored out, um, but we'll jump into a game here straight away uh, You know me if you watch me on stream on twitch There's only so much time I have in a day where my son is not bothering uh, The mic where he really loves to be heard and seen COVID has gotten to all of us But especially to a to a young boy who uh, is just discovering the world it is truly saddening so please connect with me uh, if you want to hear more about our personal life stories, but also just it's a good time to reach out, have a community, have some fun together. All right, Wispest Tribute uh, works really well on the Parasite or Whispering Hillock. Seeing both in hand, we kind of have to decide what we want more. Uh, I think Burbagazi can go away. Kikamore Worker can go away. And Drago Larvae are nice here. The one card that's kind of hard to get to your hand when you want it, the way you want it, how you want it, etc., etc., is Karen Thier. Um... That is what it is. Oh, I really like this. This is a smart play. We should maybe think about doing that. Although, I think Mask of Ouroboros is a little bit better still. This is kind of fun. All right, you guys know I like Ikern with uh, Indrega Queen. I really like Indrega Queen with Kikmore Queen. So, I think we'll save the Queens for later. Get out the Slizzards here. Uh, one to each row, and then you can drop down Ruhin to do some fun stuff. Uh, stunning Blow. Fix Stunning Blow. Fix it for real. Fix it Fix it for rightness. Uh, stunning Blow is like now very much better than, uh, than Assassination. Uh, assassination now really falling off. Used to be quite good, now quite garbage. Um, get these out. And if our opponent continues the tempo here... Uh, we're just gonna go or just continues to play gross disgusting Removal then we'll just go ahead and pass this round. I'm not really all that committed here um, Let's see he gets three more rounds out of that Then we could play predatory dive That being the case we're gonna go for a whispering hillock here Just get out our Goliath. Now, it could be a question of, do they have all the cards they want? We don't carry Osril in this deck, but an Osril consume of Crow Mother is devastating. We'll drop down Slizzard here. This play is real nasty and real mean. Um, all of this being the case, I think we're just going to take the pass. Would have preferred to use Goliath in a better tempo situation, but I think we got a lot of the removal out of our opponent. It's probably another stunning blow. I don't know. People are, like, finding the, the cleverest and cutest ways to build a deck that doesn't have to actually do anything. And it's driving me absolutely bananas. Um, we do have Karen here for these two. Not what we want. Not what we want. Come on, Andrega Queen. Come on, Karen Thier. Come on, Glusty. Get in my pocket. All right. Uh, I think we are going to be really happy with a last rate this round. I think a last rate is going to look real nice. Um, let's get these down. Let's 
might just have to play down our uh, Kikimor Queen here. Chimney Christmas. This is such a great way to get the double play. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Just erase him. So much commitment. I think our opponent's going to tempo out of our reach here pretty soon. I love this play. Oh, I wish I didn't love what our opponent was doing so much, but I just kind of do. I'm going to have to go ahead and use Kikamore Queen this round. Then you just kind of have to table her up one at a time, right? So we can use Karen here. You just want to make sure to drop down your units. Please go to melee. Please go to melee. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's very cool. This is just too good to pass up. Bye-bye. Thanks for visiting. It was nice to have you in our quaint little town. Um... Yeah, but I don't, this is not a play that you should have been making. Uh, now here you do want to table out as many units as possible. Uh, but we are going to be getting three more drones. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Um, now Karen in the same row probably makes the most sense. Then we can just save all these for Glusty. So Karen's going to get boosted because Kikimor, uh Queen gets boosted. Then we can just save this for this Andrega Eggs later. We don't have enough tempo to close this out anyway. Axel Three Eyes getting the nerf from that last rate. Last rate, really valuable there. Not a lot of row punish going on right now, so I think it's actually quite a valuable way of going about it. Okay, we're going to go for Icker in here. The best way to do this, consume this and drag it eggs first. It's going to pop the drones. Then we play down Ikern. Uh, there's no row, there's no room on the melee row, so you could here devour one of these drones, but it's going to get boosted. We're going to keep boosting it, so I find that to be more value. And here, this should kind of just put it away for us. We'll use Karen to eat this Ikern uh, and then just kind of sit there. I think we have taken the lead fairly decisively here. <laughs> you fight good, real good. Indeed we have. Morgvarg Heart of Terror. <laughs> no! Well played. Well played, my friend. Alright, well. Ruin it is. We missed the death wish on these Andrega eggs. Our opponent continues to take off three points per turn. We got close. Ah, oh, the draws. The draws you have to get to make that play. Really good, though. Really solid. I mean, maybe we should have waited to play that Icker in next turn so that that exact thing would not happen. Huge misplay from me. We are where we are. One more game. And then we will close out this video. Jumping right back in again. Some days you can't you can't have it all, and other days you still can't have it all. Oh, terrible misplay. I love this like um addled princess haircut. It's quite nice. Well, let's see if we can get Karen Thier to hand this time. Oh, we do have Andrega Warriors. As I said before, I do like how those play with Ruhin. Um, and we can actually play them a few times. We get Slizzard to the other row, kick more Worker up front, play Adrenaline Rush on kick more Worker. That works. Um, let's see if we can't go digging for Ruhin, though. I think Barbagazi a little bit better than an extra kick more Worker. Not great value there. Uh, we do get Andrega Queen. 
but we still miss out on Osril. And for those of you, or for, sorry, Ikarin, for those of you wondering why, she gets the armor of the unit she consumes, and then for each of the each round, she loses one armor and spawns a drone. It's really quite nice. All right, here we're gonna go for Kikimor Worker. See if he gets removed. If not, we'll go ahead and play Adrenaline Rush. It is a good uh, Thrive target as well. And Dragon Warrior also plays well here. All right, Swordmaster, very interesting play. Uh, just because it is such a weak target, we don't wanna use that on it quite yet. Um, let's see if we can't get a little bit better set up here, though. I mean, the drone is an insectoid, right? So shouldn't that count? Shouldn't that count? I mean, it's spawned, not played, so. I'm just being cheeky. Ooh, bomber here. Can he get the hit? He does. Prox Neophyte to get the extra hit in from Swordmaster. I don't know why I'm commentating so so emphatically on uh, on on a round where I'm getting my butt kicked. Um, elves are really fun, but how far can your bronzes carry you against monsters? That's a question. I can't answer for you. All right, so here we go ahead and get out Ruhin, and then if he comes to range, we can go ahead and play in Dragon Warrior. But Ruhin just makes it so we can tempo back up really quickly here. Burbagazi might be the other character we want to get out. Uh, but I'm fine going pretty deep into this round. We'll use uh, we'll use Wispest Tribute for Whispering Hillock if we need to. Although I'd prefer to save that for a Karen Tier Kiki Queen play. Um, Glusty here, also pretty good. But again, same story. So I think we can go pretty far with these two bronzes still. We need to wrap up this game so I can go get my son, feed him some lunch. Film three videos at once a day, so kind of a lot going on. All right, here we do want to get down and drag a warrior, and then hope Ruhin goes back to melee so that Slizzard can get him next round, and then Burbagazi can come in clutch here. So here, opponent can't pass. They do have to keep playing. Uh, pass would be a loss on 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 a, on tied cards. Very interesting play. Um, I think alternatively here, we're just gonna have to go for Andrega Queen. We just do need this tempo from Ruhin. And then we'll take the extra spawn drones. Finally, we get Ruhin back onto the right row with Slizzard. And we're passing, so that's fine. All right, now here, since we did take the win, uh, I think this looks a lot to me like a, a Redea Elven deck. So... I don't know. Tough choices. If we can get Karen Thier, we'll push. If not, tough choices will remain. All right. Uh, just keeping in mind, we do have Parasite here. We do have Predatory Dive. And we do have Last Raid. So I'm fine keeping Whispering Hillock in hand. Um, don't need Barbagazi, really. Slizzard, really not that valuable either. Um, that being the case, we're just going to tempo up real quick here with Goliath. This is an 11-point play. Um, seriously, one of the best plays you can make in the game, in my opinion. Great value. Great tutor. This is really only eight provisions. Goliath, only eight provisions. We only have four elves in hand. I'm guessing one is like a Mata or a Rodea, and one is the one of uh, that or a Scenario as well. Now, we could have played Nindrega Larva here. Um... We'll go one more, since we do have the lead on the opponent. We can go ahead and use Wispest Tribute onto something if we prefer. Opponent's still not catching up here. 
Uh, so what we'll do here is use Slizzard, proc the Thrives, and then we'll consume Goliath. All the Elven stuff is pretty much deploy abilities. So our opponent here really, really anxious about what that means with the Goliath there. Uh, so this being the case, I think we'll go ahead and take the pass. Uh, three point for one point though. I do want to save her for row punish. So we are going to just take the pass here. Purify is just enough. Our opponent still controls all of their most important cards. So they were able to, to trade out of that one pretty quickly. It's not a Radea deck though because we've seen two Nature's Rebukes. All right, so this is good. This is good. But I'd rather see Karen Thier. Where are you? Where are you, Karen Thier? Come here. Man, this is like the fifth game in a row. I've done other games on stream. I just can't get Karen Thier for some reason. It is what it is. Um, I think we will see the opponent murder this if we play it. We have to be a little patient here. And we need to save just enough to get this to 10. So that'll be two charges. So we'll probably use the other two charges with Kiki. Now this would proc the Thrive, but so does Karen. And I'd rather keep Kiki safe. We just need to consume on the board to get the Ikran before the Ikran dies. Otherwise we have big problems. Big problems. Force Protector onto an Andregalarva is a poor trade. Not really a great trade, but I think the opponent doesn't really have a lot of other things they love. So Kiki comes out. We don't spend the charges here because we're not getting the boost. <sighs> Karathi Heat Wave is just... Go home. All right, Heat Wave's gone. Reset. It's the other thing I'd worry about, but seeing as there's a scenario, I think we're probably okay. See these come down with, uh, with Verno Zeal is going to be a lot of damage. This is kind of a weird, oh, I'm just tabling into Waylay. That makes sense. Game is still very gettable for us. This last rate is going to play for massive damage. We are going to take a lot of damage here, though. So this is hopefully as easy and grim. It's not. A lot of punishment. Which is deeply unfortunate. This is by far best value. We do get a drone from that, so that's why we do it first. I think we have we are just under on points. So once again, I bring to you a deck that gets countered by somebody's beautiful homebrewed weirdness. Oh no, we won! <laughs> I joke. I know how to do maps. <laughs> Glusty for the win, despite heat waves, despite Vernalzeal. Uh, probably should have played a little longer in round two. Probably should have just bled it all out. Um, but not having Karen Thier again is just crippling. Uh, having him with Ruhin is crazy. Great points. Kikamora is insane synergy. But we are, as they say, where we are. Karen Thier continues to work best with insects over Wild Hunt, though. And I will die on that hill. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining. Until next time. 
Good luck on the path. Get out there. Keep on quitting.